Hey guys, it's Nick, and thanks for tuning in to Long Island Wargaming, and I'm going to do a little update on the Lead Belcher Army list composition. Sticking the same with the Slaughtermaster, I did throw 5 points into a Luxstone because I ended up with 5 points after, and really in this army, unless you're looking to add 2 Noblars, 5 points doesn't get you anywhere because the cheapest bowl is like 30 something points so um, the bruisers run in with the, the flame banner still so I can get flaming attacks against uh, anything with regen uh, the game I'm going to be playing tomorrow is going to be against uh, Chris's orcs and goblins so I know there's going to be nothing regen but I don't want to alter the list every time and tailor it too much but um, he's running with the pistols which is cool because he can shoot I don't know if I want to make him more close combat heavy um, That'll just come as I get more games in. Uh, still running the five Iron Guts with the Command and Banner of Discipline and the Lookout Noblar. That's a little bunker unit. Um, and then I dropped the two units of 20 Noblars with Trappers and uh, Command. Not even a Command. I think they just had Banners. It was good to get my Fortitude up, but this is going to be more of a fun list. So if I get Blood and Glory, I'm screwed anyway. And I don't think this list is going to do too great... I don't have too high, uh, I'm not very optimistic at its um, success, but we're going to see how that goes as we get more games in. So instead I got in um, six units of ten trappers and one of them, or seven actually, one of them has a banner for getting fortitude up if I do get blood and glory. So I've got my general, which is two, my BSB, and another banner, so really... Um, Breaking point, I believe, is two, so I need to lose the BSB and, uh, well, actually, no, I got two banners, the BSB and the general, so my, I have actually have five, so I think I need to lose three, which means I'd have to lose the BSB, the Iron Guts, and the, the, um, the Trappers with a banner, so, I mean, since it's a pretty defensive army, uh, hopefully I don't lose fortitude and break too quickly, but I mean, it's pretty pretty easy to knock out an army. Um, for the most part, Chris is going. We're going to be doing a pitch battle, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, the biggest threat is going to be Foot of Gork as high strength template weapon with D3 multiple wounds is kind of ridiculous with this army. So uh, it would be cool to have an Iron Curse icon somewhere, but not really going to work for this army. Um, and yeah, so I got my seven, eight, and eight for my lead belchers. Those are the three units, and the two iron blasters. So this is uh, essentially the composition. Nothing's really changed except the luck stone and the rearranging of the trappers, which is going to be nice because I felt that with the units of twenty, they still died as quickly. But um, if I really wanted to get in another banner, it's quite easy to do. I could just drop the pistols on the bruiser or something. But really, um, the orcs are going to kill me in combat, so I'm just going to never let them get there, and if they do get to me, hopefully they've gone through three units of trappers, and when I say the orcs, I mean the black orcs and the savage orcs, because he's going to have 40 guys in each of those units, and having to take three rounds of difficult terrain tests, statistics are going to, you know, hopefully work in my favor, and he's going to lose half of his unit before he gets to me, so that'd be wonderful. And once he gets there, hopefully I've already, you know, unloaded a couple rounds of shots. Um, there's a possibility Chris could play defensive and stay on the back line, have me march forward and shoot at him, and then just use foot and, you know, take that route, which would be competitive, but boring, but we'll see what happens, so... Um, Feel free to leave any comments below on the composition, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same. And if you haven't checked out the previous videos, here are the models I'm working on currently. This is just some guys with some guns and some pistols and some slingshots shooting away at the enemies. This will probably be in front of a lead belcher, so this will be the front rank. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. I'm having I'm having a lot of fun converting this army, even though I don't think it's super competitive um, stat-wise in terms of the lead belters doing well. But yeah, so I'll let you guys know how the game goes, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.